Hello everybody, this is Chris Mackey and this is your 14th tutorial on Honeybee Energy Simulation and the last one in which we're going to be looking at this method of building up honeybee zones, individual honeybee zones from, from, from specific surfaces where we're assigning these diff different properties. Um, so you guys remember in the last one we, we, you know, we took all of our different our roofs, our floors, all these different things and, and made them separate honeybee surfaces. We assigned glazings, like custom glazing to, to some of them for these windows and this attic space. Um, and now, now we're ready to bring them all together and into a zone. And that's what we're going to do in this, in this, uh, in this video. And, uh, and you can see there's a component now, the component that turns everything into a zone is this honeybee create HB zones component. And this is a this is a pretty important one because it's sort of it's the the thing that collects all the other surfaces that we've been working on and, and customizing all up to this point. So I'm going to drag and drop this uh, honeybee create create uh, um, uh, what sorry create honeybee zones component onto the canvas. And uh, let's see, I'm going to turn the preview off on all this other stuff so we can kind of see what's 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 going on here. But essentially, I mean, this is a, this is a component that basically takes all of your HB surfaces. So I mean, so we'll take like our HB surface with glazing here that we made. We'll hold down shift and connect up the next HB surface. Uh, let's see, we'll take this as the roofs. We'll connect up that to this component. Um, let's see, we need, oh, oh, and interesting, you guys notice that this, this dotted line like that means that the results are grafted. Um, and we do that, I mean, to kind of make it easier sometimes when it comes out here. But you see like each one of these surface ends up in its own list is the way that you can think of that this. And the thing is, I mean, if, if you're not familiar with Grasshopper, this is actually pretty important. So the thing is you really want to flatten this, this list is what it's called, which essentially turns it into a single, uh, you know, a single list with all these different values. So, so I, I can show you this. So right now it's, it's, it's being simplified. You see what this little symbol means? It's simplified, which means, you know, it's one of the things that happens to, to do it to, to, you know, sort of make it branched in this way. Um, or make it make the list numbers in this way, I guess is the better way to say it. Um, but if we added this sort of this flatten output onto you, you see instead of getting each surface in its own list, they're all now in one list. And that and that's an important thing to realize um, because you know that's that's the way that you know or or I mean we could have also alternatively, maybe this is easier, that we just flatten it here. Um, so and I mean you just right click on the output and, and flatten it and that's important when, when you're when you've got multiple surfaces you want them to all be in the same list when you're building up with this method okay so that was just to show you that so we'll take now all of our floors which is probably also going to be grafted but but that's okay because we're flattening it in this component now so so we don't necessarily I mean we can actually you know get rid of it there now actually so because it's all going to be flattened here when we do that and that and then, and that'll I mean it's, it's important that it's flattened by the way so that it all gets joined into one zone because otherwise it might it might try and join things into multiple zones and we know all these these surfaces together only make a single zone all right so holding shift and connecting up the external walls and lastly holding shift and connecting up the internal walls and now now we've got all of these things together and you see what we get out of this now well it's it's null right now because we haven't provided the other necessary input of the name so so we need to provide a name with this method um, so and you know this is I mean it's kind of helpful because it will help keep track of our, our zones as we as we continue to, uh, to 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 make them especially if you have multiple zones that you're making with this method. So I'm just gonna uh, let's see I'm gonna bring up a panel by typing a quotation mark and we'll just call this um, you know actually no this is this is this is my room actually that we're modeling right now in my my old parents' house. So I think we're gonna call it uh, Chris room and and I mean it's important also. So the thing is uh, Energy Plus doesn't like spaces. So it's important also to, just to, to make your your zone all one name, or if you do put a space, make sure it's like you know like an underscore like that. But uh, okay, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it like this and hit enter. Um, and this will be this will be Chris's Chris's room, the zone Chris's room. Uh, and you'll see now what we get out of this is it gives us a closed B wrap. And you guys, I mean, as you know, if you remember from the, the, the previous uh, uh, things that we've done here, I mean, a closed B rep is exactly, I mean, it's, it's now virtually the same as, as what, what comes out of here. 
It's it's a it's a you know those closed BRFs that come out of there are essentially the same thing. They're they're you know it's a zone now that has all of these properties with it, and we can check these properties by using as you guys remember the the honeybee zone labeler. So I'll take our our honeybee label zones component and uh, and let's see I'll turn the preview off there. And uh, and connect up our honeybee zones. You can see that now. You know it's it's a it's a room with these with these zone attributes. And well, let's bring up our our zone attribute list here. And uh, and so yeah, so you can see it's it's a zone named Chris's room as as we just named it. Uh, and it's a program of oh, but it's of an open office. So uh, so that's something that we can change. You guys will also notice that this the the, the honeybee create honeybee zones. Uh, has a has an option for a zone program, so we can just take. I'm just going to copy paste the same exact thing that we used to select out our mid rise apartment uh, program up here for the rest of the house. I'm just going to do a copy and paste of that, and let's see, it'll bring it down here. Uh, maybe, maybe make some room for it here, and you know, and we'll just connect up that our mid rise apartment zone program there, and then you'll see. Okay, it's changed the zone program to apartment. Um, and you know, and so we can check all these properties. You know, uh, the the building program is a condition. Well, so we haven't assigned any condition. Uh, you know, whether there's an AC or heating system there. Um, and we know. I mean, well, I know actually. Interestingly, uh, my room does not actually have a heating system in it, which is interesting because it's it's well, it's all the way on the top floor, but it never gets too cold. Weirdly enough, um, because because all the hot air just rises to this, this the top of uh, of the house here. So actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna be bold, and I'm actually gonna take. I mean, you you can realize that you can do this, you know, very specifically now. You can customize zones that are conditioned that aren't conditioned. Um, you know, like a closet isn't usually gonna be conditioned. So you can you can get a real power over stuff like this when you use this surface by surface and zone by zone method. Um, so, all right, yeah, so I'm going to set the is condition to false, and that's, you know, exactly what we see here in the zone labeler. Uh, and all right, and this is great. We have we have a honeybee zone. I mean, we and we can also check some other properties of this if we wanted. Say, say we, uh, we wanted to take our, uh, we, you know, we can plug our, our honeybee zone. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that B-Rep because we don't need it anymore. But we can take our honeybee zone and plug it into our, our, uh, our separate based on type component. Um, that we know will separate the walls and the roofs and everything and we can double check to be sure all right yep looks like it, it you know the roofs are correct the walls are correct the windows are correct and the ground is, is correct um, so you guys you know can understand that this is now a zone with properties that we can you know that is basically good to go good good and right I mean we can connect the honeybee zone like right up to to our, our honeybee energy simulation and, and run it that's that's I mean essentially what I'm trying to show you guys here is that it's all good to go but now let's see. I mean, ideally now we just we want to integrate this this uh, this attic zone that we've like sort of built up, uh, you know, surface by surface to be very customized, uh, and we want to integrate it with the uh, with the other zones of the house. Let's see that we still have here, right? Is that uh, yeah, yeah? So I'm going to. Uh, I mean, so let's just actually take a look for a second. We have all the other house zones here. Um, we'll just preview those. Uh, and so essentially probably what we're going to have to do in order to work this into into the, the rest of our zones is that well we'll first uh, take okay yeah so this is the the rest of the house uh, that we have now all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna whoops sorry about that I'm gonna turn the preview off on this and instead of, uh, of you know you see what what's starting the rest of the zones are, are all here in these B reps um, you know, actually, I should guess I should turn off the the preview on on this. Actually, I mean, you guys get the sense. I'm just gonna delete that. But you guys understand. That was just to show you what's there. Oh, oh, and actually, I guess we really don't need this. That was to show you something in the last video. So I'm gonna get rid of that. But so, all right. So we have B reps for all the zones right now. And so instead, now I'm I'm gonna just take the B reps for just the uh, just the the all the zones except the attic. Um, so let's see, I'll select those out right now in the rhino scene. Yep, yep, we should have all of those except for the attic. And then I'm going to set multiple B reps here. Well, actually, maybe first I'm going to set this to false so it doesn't run anything. I'm going to set multiple B reps. And you guys know I like to internalize the data so that you guys can just, you know, only, only use the, uh, the, the, uh, the grasshopper 
uh, file, that you don't need it necessarily tethered to a, to a Rhino file in order to be able to see that geometry. All right, so now when I generate, now when I go and create the honeybee zones, it's going to, you know, solve adjacencies, make the glazing for all the, the zones except for the attic. And then we'll, we'll work the attic into that list, um, you know, so, so that it's, you know, we have this unique zone that's, you know, now, now in, uh, with the rest of the, the house zones that are being defined by this, this more, this faster, um, you know, automated method of assigning glazing and everything. Um, so, all right, let's see. So... Yes, I got it. Okay. All right. So now if we check the, this preview, you know, we would see it assigned, uh, well, and I'll hide this, all, everything else here. But you'll see, yeah, so we have a house essentially without the attic zone. Um, and so now, now if we just, all we really need to do is put in another solve adjacency component. Um, so let's see, a good old solve adjacency component. And, uh, and we want to just hook up our honeybee zones well, with, you know, our, our standard honeybee zones with, with glazing, all the ones that we've generated with this automated method. And then we'll, uh, you know, and we'll hook up our attic zone. And this will ensure that, you know, it, that the zones recognize, all right, the attic is next to these, these zones on the second floor and there can be heat transfer between them. Um, and that's so, I mean, that's why we need to sort of have this solve adjacencies component to work it in, you know, with the, with our other zones there. And, uh, and importantly for this one too, we're going to have to set the remember current adjacencies to true because we don't want it to necessarily overwrite all the other, um, all, all the other solve adjacencies that happen back here because th those are pretty good the way that we, that we, uh, you know, set those up. So it's only going to find new adjacencies, which are, you know, are the, the, the attic and, and that and the, uh, and, and the rest of the house there. All right. So now if I set this to true, um, then, then we should see our honeybee zones with adjacencies should, uh, should now account for that extra attic zone there. And we'll, we'll double check that in a second uh, when, when we connect our honeybee zones to our, our separate based on type. Okay. Ah, can we, grasshopper window keeps closing. Oh, oh, well, actually looks like we're getting an error. Number of wiz windows doesn't match between, uh, interesting. Uh, all right, actually, I mean, maybe it doesn't take, it only takes two seconds to kind of debug this. So, all right, we'll find zone 13. By, by hooking it up into our, 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 you know, label zones. And we'll just check and see what exactly that is. I mean, you know, I, I, I do this, I mean, you guys don't necessarily have to worry so much about following along with this because this is, we're, you know, kind of going off the beaten path of this tutorial video here. Um, but we can see where is zone 13. So zone 13 is right here. Ah, that's it. Okay. I see. All right. So we've got an extra window here that we didn't really mean to have. Uh, yeah, actually an extra set of windows. Uh, all right, yeah, and that is that is definitely gonna gonna cause some uh, some issues. So all right, so maybe maybe the uh, the more important thing that we would have to do, we might have to break this down a little bit further. Um, let's see, what is the best way to do this? I mean, we, we could I mean we could create a whole unique zone surface by surface here as well. Or you know you know maybe actually what's what's probably better is that we'll select out all of the the zones except this to go into the, the this this glazing based on ratio and we'll have a separate one for that zone 13. All right. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry guys. We're going to I know this is a kind of peculiarity of my parents house, but I mean, I think it's important to to kind of show you guys these things sometimes. Um because um because you'll run into them in your own projects and you'll want to know how to solve them. And uh and you know, sometimes there are faster ways of solving them than others. There's always yeah, there's always a huge, you know, amount of different ways to solve things but uh, but I mean I'm gonna do is essentially what I think is the fastest here which is just to uh, select out let's see we'll select out all the zones uh, except for um, yeah except for the that that top one and I guess the easiest way to do that is with a uh, uh, an explode tree component there there actually there are other ways and I know actually Mustafa is probably gonna correct me on this uh, after <laughs> afterwards but I mean you can use this explode tree component and if you graph the inputs and then right click and then go to match outputs you get you know each each zone in its own kind of uh, branch there um, so all right I'm gonna turn that to, to false uh, let's see we don't need that anymore and uh, and we just need to find which one is the is is this zone that was causing us extra problems let's see so I'm gonna turn the preview off um, let's see not that one. I mean, you, you can. Uh, there are sometimes faster ways of solving this. I'm just using this because I've got a small number of zones right now, and I think this is it's probably one of the, the fastest ways I could think of in the moment here. But uh, of course, of course, there are always better practices. 
And let's see, where is it? Oh, don't tell me it's all the way at the end. All right, of course, I had to go through the whole thing. All right, so this zone, we're going to send through a, uh, a different glazing based on ratio component. Um, and, you know, one in which will tell it to give no glazing on the north side. Um, so, all right, so we'll feed that into this one. And, uh, and you know, and as you guys remember that you can just put in a list of, of glazing ratios. Um, so I'm going to right click and turn that into multi-line data and we'll do 0.25 on every facade except the, the south, uh, which I believe, well, hmm, I believe is, is, sorry, the north actually. So I believe the north is actually the first one. Um, but I mean, but you can always check that you guys know that there's a glazing parameters component that, I mean, I'm not going to use it now because it's a large thing. Um, but you know, but that, yeah, I think the, the north is the first one in the list. So, all right. So let's just connect that up. And now, hopefully, I mean, if we were to connect this to uh, to our honeybee zones, there should be no glazing on the north side. If we turn the preview on there, okay, yeah, that's that's what we want. All right, so we'll turn the preview off, and now, 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 I guess, and then this then becomes we, we'll we'll close that, and I mean, so, all right, so that's set to false, which is good. It's not going to run everything, and there there are probably faster ways of doing this. I mean, if you have a lot of zones, certainly you don't necessarily want to hook up hook it up zone by zone by you know to the the objects with uh, with glazing, but I'm going to do that here just because I mean it's yeah it's a small number of zones. It's you know it's only 12 zones, so not too too much of a manual effort to connect everything but yeah but there are faster ways I mean if you guys you, you know if you have a skyscraper there you know you'll you'll do it with some different type of list management uh, let's see I we probably want to flatten everything before it goes in the in into both of these because if you guys remember like when we when we grafted it here it turns it into a list of lists so each each beer rep is in its own list um, so, so that you know, flattening it will ensure that they're all sort of in the same same list as we keep track of them. And then finally, we'll plug that into there, and we'll plug our, our zones with adjacencies into there. Let me set this one to true, and hopefully this time we don't get the error. Um, you know, and and that then those those there won't be some sort of internal windows that aren't matching. Uh, and yeah, and I'm sorry for disregarding that. Yeah, I, I you know you really should pay attention to the warnings when they come up. Um, and uh, but uh, so, yeah, so I mean, so that was good that we checked that, um, and we've now solved that we should have something with adjacencies that work in a few more seconds. Okay, all right, so it's all the adjacencies, and let's turn the preview on. And now, yeah, now there's no error coming out of this component. Now that wall is just fine and dandy, no windows that are that are on it. And uh, and I think we're you know this is this is good enough to go. And now we can hook this up to. I mean, we're not going to run the energy simulation, but now those honeybee zones can go up to there. And now we've got a house with a nice little you know with a with a good window up top that's actually representative of what my room is like. And uh, and and you guys see you know how how this this workflow of building up a zone surface by surface can integrate into into a big large workflow where you're automating some of the other zones. All right, guys, so you've got that. I mean, now you guys have got the basic sense of the surface by surface method. Um, and, uh, and in the next few videos, we're going to be going into more specific things of the zone properties. I think you guys, we've got done so much geometry and so much customization with geometry that uh, I think it's time that, uh, that, yeah, we'll move on to things like constructions and schedules and loads and everything, all the things that, that can also change the energy simulation. So, all right, guys, thank you guys for watching this, and I will see you in the next one.